Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have some forbidden romance book recommendations for you, so let's just get right into the books. So I feel like some of these books may not necessarily be considered like forbidden, they may just be more like taboo, but I'm kind of grouping them all into this one video. So I'm sorry if you don't like that, but that's just in my head how these books are categorized. So that's how I'm going to do this. So the first book I have today is Love Unexpected by QB Tyler. There are actually quite a few QB Tyler books in this video because I feel like she is like the queen of like the forbidden, taboo, like crazy romances. And whenever I talk about what her books are about, I always feel like I have to say like I know it sounds crazy, but it's always done so well that it's good, even though it sounds like something you probably never want to read. But this book in particular is about Stasia and Dominic. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, but I think that's how it's pronounced. And Stasia basically, when she is younger, she sees Dominic and he sort of catches her eye. He is quite a bit older than her and he basically ends up marrying her mom. And I think he's a teacher actually at her school when she first sees him as a kid. And he ends up marrying her mom, but she's always kind of like had this thing for him. And he never formally adopts her. He never really is like her parent in the, the sort of parent kind of sense of parenting, I guess. That probably made no sense. But he's like, technically, like he could be considered a parent, but he's not really. He didn't come into her life until she was a little bit older. She never like called him dad or anything like that. It just like wasn't their relationship. And her mom ends up passing away. And now the two of them are kind of on their own and things sort of happen. I will say like this was probably like my most uncomfortable QB Tyler book just because I felt like they were both grieving and that was what led to them sort of doing what they did. But it is definitely like got the forbidden taboo aspect going on. So if you like that, you would probably like this book. Next is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I feel like this is like one of the most well-known like forbidden romances. This one follows Jordan and Pike and Jordan is dating Pike's son. So they end up moving in with him and Jordan realizes that she has met Pike previously, but she didn't know that it was her boyfriend's dad at the time. She just met him like randomly. And the two of them sort of have like this weird kind of connection and her boyfriend is like a total jerk so you're not exactly rooting for her to stay with him you're obviously rooting for her to get with the dad and that's sort of where the story goes I feel like a lot of people have talked about this one and picked up a lot of traction lately but this was like one of the first ever like forbidden or like taboo romances I ever read and really really loved it it's definitely a good place to start if you've like never read one before i think it is a good starting point for that next is a credence also by penelope douglas this is my favorite penelope douglas book i love this book it follows tiernan who is a girl who is the daughter of two famous actors who end up sort of like murder suiciding and so now she is on her own and she gets this call from her dad's stepbrother and he is like look I just heard about your parents I know that like the paparazzi is probably like hounding you and the media is after you and whatever like I know you probably don't care you're 17 you're gonna be legal like shortly but I just wanted to offer like if you want to come live with me and my sons in this cabin in the woods like you can do that and she's like okay like I'll think about it whatever and she ends up deciding she's gonna go to get away from all the media and whatnot and she's there obviously she's like not actually related to these guys because it's her dad's stepbrother so even her dad wasn't related to them right so like she's not really related she didn't even know about them until this book sort of starts taking place I love this one I think it's so unique and interesting and just different than really anything I've ever read Definitely has that like forbidden aspect though because obviously most people would consider that like family even though they're like not really. But really really love this one. Definitely recommend. It's got like such a great atmosphere too. It's very like wintry. It like snows up on a mountain and they get like snowed in. It's like it's very like atmospheric which I really really love in my books. So really really recommend this one. Next is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. This one I feel like has been around a lot. This is a like serial killer like kidnapper sort of storyline i wouldn't say it's like a serial killer kidnapper romance though because the guy that kidnaps them is not part of the relationship 
It's basically about this girl who ends up being kidnapped with her sister's fiance that she cannot stand. And the two of them end up kidnapped in this guy's basement. And this guy's sort of like serial killer like thing that he does is he likes to make his victims fall in love with each other and then he kills them once they've fallen in love with each other. But these two obviously start out like absolutely despising each other and on top of that he's her sister's fiance. So they're kind of like okay this is whack you know. And it goes from there. It's obviously very forbidden. It's her sister's fiance. It's definitely got that aspect to it for sure. Really, really like this one as well. The whole book itself is really interesting and another really unique one. Next is Unconditional by QB Tyler. Like I said, there's gonna be a couple QB Tyler books in this video. This one follows Maddie and Cal. And Cal is a cop and he ends up, Maddie's parents sort of have a murder-suicide thing. It must be like a common thing in these books. But her parents are now dead and he is a cop and he finds her like hiding in a closet and I think she's like six at the time and he's 21. He's just started like being a cop and he finds her in this closet and she just refuses to leave him. Like she's hanging off of his leg, won't leave him alone. Like and he's like fine like I will take her home for the night and we'll sort out like a foster placement afterwards. But he ends up fostering her himself because he can never like bring himself to send her off to live with someone else. And this book takes place like most QB Tyler books do right on the cusp of her turning 18. She is 17 in the first part of this book and she's sort of getting to 18 and like obviously things maybe are going to shift there. This one is really interesting as well. Definitely very different than anything I've ever read but obviously like the sort of guardian thing is very like taboo and like forbidden but like again he didn't adopt her. They weren't like parent and child kind of like that wasn't their relationship. They were really just more like roommates even though she was like a kid. But this one definitely has the sort of like forbidden taboo aspect to it. But really, really love this one. I think this is actually probably one of my favorites from QB Tyler. Next is Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin. This one is very crazy. This one follows a girl who ends up at this like Catholic boarding school type thing. And the guy, Magnus, is like the head of the school, I guess. And he's like a priest. And the two of them kind of have a thing, obviously. This one went a little far in the smut department. Like I will say, if you're not someone who wants to go like all the way in with that, you're not gonna like this because it is, it's all the way there. And there were like some scenes I could have personally done without. And I know I've seen other people have similar opinions with this one, but like it definitely pushes like the boundaries with that sort of area of the book. But that's sort of really all I can say about this that's spoiling it or like saying anything plot wise. She's at this school. All the girls are kind of trying to get this guy's attention because he's like really attractive but he's obviously like I'm a priest like I'm not getting with anybody kind of thing and like obviously they're his students so definitely like the forbidden like student teacher aspect going on in this one as well. Really did like it though like with the exception of like the occasional scene I could have done without but other than that it was a really good read. Next is Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. This is one of my favorite witchy romances. Actually, I would probably say this is my favorite witchy romance. This is so good. If you like Halloween Town, the movies, you will probably love this. It is just like got that same sort of cozy Halloween vibe and I was obsessed reading this. Like I could not get through this fast enough. There's actually a second one that came out that I have not read yet but I'm dying to read. And this one follows Reggie and Ben. And Reggie applies for a job in the newspaper thinking that it's for like a card game but it ends up being like an actual witch's familiar job and so she ends up she takes the job because they offer her like a ton of money to do it and so she ends up taking the job and she becomes this 2,000 year old witch's familiar but this witch's nephew lives with her and this nephew cannot stand this girl. And he's like super mean to her, like super enemies to lovers kind of thing. Like thinks she's so like ignorant because she doesn't believe in magic and just like all this stuff. And there's like a rule in this. I can't remember exactly what it is, but there's some rule about like witches dating their familiars or like other people's familiars or something. So there is like a forbidden aspect to this. Like they're technically not allowed to be together, the two of them. So that definitely gave like the forbidden sort of relationship vibes. I, like I said, really love this one. If you're looking for like a spooky season book, like this one is so, so good. Really, really loved it. Next is Eyes on Me by Sarah Kate, which follows Garrett and Mia. They are step siblings. So again, the sort of forbidden taboo aspect there. And he basically is on like a cam girl site one night and he sort of stumbles upon this video that's his stepsister 
and he didn't know she was doing that obviously and he's like oh my god this is insane and he ends up like watching the video and then he's like I have to go see her and he ends up like driving out to like his family's lake house or like beach house or whatever it is to go and see her that weekend and it goes from there. This one was really really good. I didn't like Praise which is the first book in this series but this one I thought was a lot better and like I definitely would read the rest of the series like I'd be open to it. This one I thought was really well done. It was definitely a different vibe than the first book. Really, really loved it. Next is another QB Tyler book, which is What Was Meant to Be. This one follows Jacob and Whitney. And Jacob is Whitney's godfather and also her parents' best friend. Like, they have been best friends since they were in college. And they, like, all sort of grew up together and were hanging out all the time. And this is now, obviously, his friend's daughter. And she is, I believe, again... This one's a little bit different because I don't think she's on the cusp of 18. They kind of have like a thing when she is and then she ends up leaving or he leaves. One of them leaves and now it's a couple years later and they're sort of back in the same place and she is actually engaged to someone else and that is where this book starts. So it's definitely got the forbidden like she's literally engaged to another guy and the godfather thing going on sort of has the taboo aspect to it. This one is really really good. Another one that I really loved Cubie Tyler's smut is also just like on a whole other level to be honest like this book had something in it that I have never ever read in another book and I've read like probably 500 romance books in the last two years and this one had something in it that I've never seen in another book which I thought was interesting so definitely would recommend this one if you're looking for something a little bit different in that department but really really love this one all of Cubie Tyler's books are really good like I said she's very good at the taboo forbidden like just really really crazy romances and they always are so so good. And lastly is Hawk by Jesse Hall. This one is about Hawk obviously and Nicole. Nicole is living in this house with her boyfriend Patrick and Patrick is very like churchy. His family is one of those families that does everything sort of for their image. Like they go to church because it makes them look like better people or they they donate to charity because it makes them look better and not just because they like actually want to and that's just sort of how his family is and Nicole kind of starts to hate that and they are living in this house together and then one day this guy is just like in the house, Hawk, and she's like who are you and where did you come from and she finds out he just got out of prison and he is now living in this house, he's their roommate and her boyfriend doesn't really tell her why he's there or like why he's living with them or anything, he's just all of a sudden in this house and this one had like a lot of like after vibes where she's got like the sort of the boyfriend that she should want in theory but she really wants like the bad boy across the hall kind of thing and so he's obviously like I said he just got out of prison he's all like tattoos and like very different than her boyfriend and she sort of starts spending a lot of time with him she works from home he doesn't have a job so they're just like home together a lot while her boyfriend is off at work and things sort of go from there this one definitely has like after vibes if after took place like when they were older and the forbidden aspects definitely there because obviously she is dating this other guy she's not single and it's got that whole sort of plot line playing through the entire story which I thought was interesting and I really like this one it was really really good and so that is everything for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below I'm currently doing new book videos every single week and I will see you next time